It's Thanksgiving. It's late night on November 27th, Friday. And how can you not wonder, like, what's going on with the election? Like, is it over? Do we have totals? Do we have, like, do we know who's gotten the the correct amount of uh, over 270 electoral votes? I wanted to look at the numbers because I heard uh, Trump in a press conference today say that he doesn't believe Biden got 80 million votes. So I looked it up and I went up state by state and I was trying to figure out, is there any way possible within logic and the numbers that you can write a formula that is rational, logical formula based on total votes and electoral votes available for this per state or for the District of Columbia. Is there any way you can write some type of formula that would get Trump to win? Like, does he have any way to argue that any way the votes were counted here? Like we have numbers that are certified for votes for the most part here. And, you know, we, we can see which states he won by a lot and which states he lost by a lot. Is there any way to do it? And I'm gonna talk about that in a second in the simulations area, but as for the, the results as we have them right now, which is based of like a couple hours ago, I think like 7.30 p.m. on the East Coast, you've got Biden with 80 million, 45,000, and Trump with 73 million, almost 74 million. Biden's ahead by 6.1 million votes, right? And I, I grabbed all the different electoral votes per, per state. I have them applied by a formula, and I have Maine and Nebraska broken out. This thing's really fun to play with, and I'll leave a download link for you to mess around with it. Um, I color coded it where here uh, a green is a larger number and a red is a smaller number. So you can see if you want to sort, you want to see something really interesting is sort this by Biden's margin, margin of victory descending. And you see that the states that he won, these are huge margins in big states with big electoral votes. Like look at the states with the most electoral votes, largest to smallest. You can see that it alternates a little bit, like you have Texas going for Trump by 600,000, um, but let's see if we can move this down just a little bit so that my head isn't in the way. Um, Texas goes for Trump and New York goes for, goes for Biden. Florida goes for Trump by 370,000. Illinois goes for Biden. Pennsylvania goes for Biden. Ohio goes for Trump by 475,000. That's interesting. A uh, couple, right, Michigan, there's that close one going on in Georgia. That's why they care so much about the recount and everything. Uh, it's really, really interesting to, to dig through and see how this all played out. And, well, is there is there a way? Is there a way to get Trump to win? And I thought, well, I think the most reasonable formula, because the Electoral College kind of stinks. Like, it's an all or nothing type situation. Here's a situation where there's 5 million more votes in California. I mean, almost of the 6.1 million more votes that Biden had than Trump, 5 million of them come out of California. Um, there are 55 electoral votes there. Well, what if you still, you know, there are Republicans in these states. What if you wanted to give them some credit and you wanted to split up the electoral votes so that the votes divided by the total votes for the two of them, you'd split up the electoral votes. Instead of 55 and zero, you would have this you would have 35.7 and 19.3. Um, and if you did this all the way down for all the states, giving them a, a prorated portion of the electoral votes, Biden still gets over 270 and Biden beats him. So even if you do an alternate way, of a reasonable alternate way of applying electors, he still loses. And of course, popular vote is lost by 6 million also. So even if you did it by popular vote, you'd have the same thing. So it really looks like there's no way that Trump can win this mathematically. Uh, download it, try to mess around, see what you can. I mean, what he's trying to do is he's trying to take things like, um, uh, you know, states like Georgia and say that you got to flip votes around. So he's trying to like take away Biden votes and say, oh no, it's only, you only got 2.2 million. 2.2 million, oh, let's do that again, or 200, whatever. And then, you know, change this around, and then that changes this around, and you can see that changes electoral votes around automatically. Everything just kind of automatically changes in this thing. He's trying to do it there. He was trying to do it in Michigan, trying to like, okay, you know, take take 2 million off of here. This is all illegal, you can't do, you can't do this. Try to give it, Biden still wins. Then he's trying to do, 
I don't know, Wisconsin or something. Like, he's trying to mess around with state numbers, and that's the only way he gets there. So, you know, anyway, download this, have fun with it if you want to. If you can figure out a way through some type of formula that Trump wins this, I, I don't think you can do it, though. It just doesn't seem like it's possible. And also, like, kind of looking at, at the different margins of victory, like, all right, well, what are the states that Trump won the most, right? What are the biggest Trump states? The answer, are, the answer is you could look at this by by doll by a like amount of votes but you could also say like well what's the percentage of the total votes like right like what's the percentage of this plus this here to give us a percentage um and then if that is that yeah that's fine to do it in negative i guess so this percentage would give us a way to say well which are the states that are the most trump or the most biden percentage wise it's actually Wyoming, which is the biggest Trump state because it has a 45% differential in how many more, you know, the, the margin of victory over the total votes there. West Virginia next, then North Dakota, then Oklahoma, then Idaho, then Arkansas, then South Dakota. You know, where do you get to some states that, I mean, Utah's a fun state, 21%. Um, it's just really fun to look at um, and, and understand kind of, the way things are and then what what if you want to say well how about the other way around right it looks like california bar by numbers but by percentage is actually the district of columbia and then vermont which even elected a republican governor yet percentage wise went more for biden massachusetts maryland hawaii california's there rhode island how cool is this right so anyway if you feel like downloading this and having fun with this or adding other things here, I was using this as a basis for a, another payroll application that I use because I was doing all 50 states taxes and payroll, which I'll talk about in another video. Um, but um, but this was just really cool to look at. And just, just in case he, you know Trump says that he won, be like, show me in the numbers how you could possibly do that without changing votes and doing something illegal and stealing, stealing electors and stealing votes. Like, do it with the numbers. If you can do it somehow with a formula based on the votes, that were received, uh, I'd like to see it because it doesn't look like it's possible. So anyway, I'd like to know if you can figure it out. Good luck, everybody, and, and uh, welcome in President-elect Biden because he's, he's won.